Unipart Rail has recently acquired Instrumental, a spin-out from Leeds University, specialising in sophisticated sensing and transmitting equipment. So why was this of interest to Unipart Rail? Dr David McGorman explains. Instrumental was uh, founded in 2001. It was spun out from the University of Leeds. Um, it was spun out to capitalise on the technology and innovation and research from our group. Uh, the companies evolved to be able to specialise in industrial, defence, rail, all around measuring technologies and gathering things from things and putting them onto the internet and into the wider environment. Instrumental's uh, unique selling pr point and proposition actually for is different for different industries. Uh, the things we do in Formula One, people can't create electronics and sensors that live inside a combustion engine, mostly because it's 200 degrees plus, it's surrounded by oil. Um, but the forces inside there, a piston going up and down 18,000 RPM, a shaft rotating 100,000 RPM, this intrinsically will just pull electronics off, of, off a circuit board. So we create products that live in an environment where electronics shouldn't. In the rail we take some of that technology and we transform it into the rail products so that our processing, our ability to handle huge amounts of data and throw our information is, is second to none. Um, our products are all rail approved and actually Living on the underframe of, tr of a train, whilst it doesn't sound like it's an F1 engine, it's, it's quite hostile. There's significant vibrations, significant G-forces, ballast strikes, etc. And you're trying to actually get wireless signals out of an environment which is not wireless friendly. So we specialise in that too. We make things smart, effectively. So if you put a door diagnostic unit on a train door, that will tell you if your door deviates in velocity by even 15 milliseconds. Human eye can see about half a second. So as that door slowly degrades over time, we can pick that out and we can say, you need to maintain this door. We can also look at targeted maintenance. So if there is an issue with that, you can review data and you can say, actually, we don't need to take that train in. Um, we, we know that's fine because we've looked at the data. And that's a big thing in, in, in rail is availability, capacity, bringing vehicles in. So lowering that is really important. That's for doors. If you took that and you took that across any asset on a train, whether it be a compressor, whether it be a point switching of the network, whether it be a traction motor, same premise exists. If you can give them data about their asset, when they should maintain it, the health of it, how it's performing, it drives maintenance costs down, it improves performance, and overall it's, it, everybody wins. We've worked with Unipart Rail for a number of years, uh, probably for three or four years now. Um, first encountered Unipart Rail in Australia. We looked at a market out there. I went out there to identify a distributor, had several options. Unipart Rail was the best choice, so we went with them. And since then, we've done stuff in Europe and we work in the UK as well. So the relationship has grown closer over a number of years. Uh, and this opportunity was prompted to join ever closer, which we've now done. Uh, and it's really because Unipart offer reach, they offer a, a larger customer base, a global reach, which Instrumental can't access currently. Um, so together we're much stronger. Uh, Instrumental offer a lot of technology and innovation that Unipart didn't currently have. It now does in Instrumental. I would like people to know that Instrumental has solutions to offer across the group, whether you're in rail or any other part of the business. We're here to help, particularly in a digital arena. And I would like people to think if they have issues, they should just come and see us. We're really excited to be part of the Unipart family and look forward to helping all of our businesses grow as we move forward.